Okay, here we go. In this video, I will be exposing another one of my weaknesses, which is drawing. I took requests of what I should draw, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to do all of them, but who knows, maybe if I get good feedback from you guys, I will make another one. This request was from Vincent, and he asked me to draw a turtle fighting an almond on the back of a unicorn. Um, yeah, I have no idea. And obviously, unicorns are magical, so I had to add sparkles and accidentally made his legs uneven. And then I figured out my blue marker was dead, and I got a little frustrated. I decided I should sign each of my drawings with a fancy signature. Then I decided this was too hard. This next request was from Caitlin Lowell's. She asked me to draw a giraffe that didn't look like a llama. And I obviously struggled with this one. Yeah, it still looks like a llama. And this one looked like a bunny. But I figured out if you make his ears really small and you make his nose really big, you can kind of make him look like a giraffe. And then I had to add an eye patch because I accidentally gave him a peg leg. I even drew him a little parrot friend. Well, it's a pirate giraffe, but at least it's not a llama. This next request was from Oh My Shush. She asked me to draw Caitlin Lulz as a llama, and then I decided I don't want to go there. Oh My Shush also asked me to draw a non-dominant hand koala. It's hard enough to draw with your non-dominant hand, but I discovered very quickly it was even harder when you had to draw a koala. It's hard to remember what specific features differentiate a koala from a teddy bear. All I knew is it had some fuzzy hair coming out of its ears or something, and it eats leaves, I think. Then I decided maybe it'll be more recognizable if I put it in its natural habitat, which apparently is hanging from a palm tree. I also gave them a really weird nose because I think they have really weird noses, right? I'm telling you, I, I can't think of what a koala looks like at all right now. I don't even know what that was. Then I decided maybe I'm putting their ears too much on top of their head, so I tried drawing them on the side and it got weird really fast. It ended up looking more like an awkward man baby, so I just kind of went with it. I also drew him with only two fingers, I, I don't know. The next request was from my mom. She asked me to draw a porcupine family, and the story behind this is when I was a kid, I used to draw her little cartoons and comics, but all the characters were always porcupines, because they were my favorite animal, and this is what they looked like. And no, the porcupine dad did not get stabbed in the jugular. That is a tie. As I was drawing this, I quickly began to realize that Daddy Porcupine had married a drag queen, but at least she had nice shoes. I also drew a baby porcupine because a porcupine family would not be complete without a baby porcupine with whatever is coming out of his head. And you can't really tell where his appendages are. This next request is from Andrew. He asked me to draw America. Instead of drawing North and South America, I decided to draw the United States. Or try to draw the United States. As you can see, I was never very good when it came to geography. Yeah. On this last attempt, I decided to just go with the shape and create my own drawing from my failed attempt at drawing the United States, and thus Catman was born. This next request is from my boyfriend, Dylan. He asked me to draw a puppy hugging a unicorn. I decided to make the unicorn look like a dirt bag, like, I don't want your hugs, puppy, I'm too magical for you. And of course, I had to add the sparkles for the magical effect, and there you have it. This request is from Kathy. She wanted me to draw graffiti, and I didn't think it through when I started writing my name out, but I just went with it anyway. My components for graffiti consist of lots of extra lines everywhere, so you can't really tell what it says. And adding some extra squiggly decorations so it looks cool, just like real graffiti. 
As you can see, I was only able to accomplish the first goal. The looking cool part didn't really work out. Sorry, Kathy. This request is from Noah Foreman. He asked me to draw something Legend of Zelda themed, and I thought about being a total dirtbag and just doing that, but I figured I should try a little harder. So I decided to draw Link. And as I started doing this, I realized I had made a huge mistake. As I reached the end of this horrible drawing, I realized I hadn't actually given Link an arm. His sword was literally sticking out from his shoulder. I figured I should draw Epona, but then I drew her eyes like that and I have no idea why. And then I drew her tail and it looked like she was pooping and I just figured, okay, I just need to stop. This last request was from my sister who asked me to draw a sloth flying through space, drinking a Pepsi, wearing a bikini and a sombrero. All I know is that sloths have long arms and weird shaped heads and when I tried to draw his eyes they ended up looking like Asian eyes and then I tried to fix them and then it looked like an angry naked man and then I finally figured out how to make them look sleepy. But then I made his nose look like he was a clown, and I didn't angle his little Pepsi drink, so I had to make the drink spill into his mouth. And then I couldn't remember what a sombrero looked like. And then I drew his bikini, which was slightly revealing and inappropriate. And then I drew space, which was the easiest part of this drawing. Thanks so much for watching, uh, not just this video, but my other ones as well. I really appreciate the views. Please, please, please keep giving me suggestions for my 500 subscriber video. I'm so close and I would love to hear everyone's suggestions before I make it. So yeah, leave a comment and have a nice day. Mm, bye. I have no idea what kind of contraption I have set up to get this angle.